Imagine Canada balancing on the tip of Queen Victoria's crown with all sides being weighed down equally by the population of every city. After the first census in 1871, that point was just outside of Montreal. Quickly it drifted south and west as Toronto and English Canada's influence increased. It went west more and more as Canada added its western provinces and territories. Leaping over central Ontario as a national railway was constructed, prairie settles, cars invented, roads built, and planes started flying. In 1991, the census changed every five years, and the data became more accurate. The center came back east, but with the oil sands rush in Alberta and Vancouver growing in size, the center continued its northwestern trajectory away from Ontario and Quebec's historical influence. Today, with 90% of the Canadian population within 160 kilometers of the border, the main center of population lies in northern Michigan and, somewhat fittingly, inside of a protected state forest area. Eventually, the tipping point will rise back into Canada, and with that, rural Manitoba might finally have something interesting to talk about.